Well, uh, welcome once again to uh, the next episode of this insanity that we call the Cleland Adventures. <laughs> um, so, I promise that this week is going to be longer than last session. That was just a really tough week last week. Uh, last two weeks ago, there we go. God. Anyway, um, so... What the plan is, is we're going to just kind of talk about what everyone was doing for the remainder of the month, tie up a couple loose ends, and then you guys are going to the castle, um, as per the request of the king. Yes. Who the hell does this guy think he is? Some kind of king? <laughs> kind of lord army, of the land? The entire army of Rildan. Mm. Oh. <laughs> who who tried and made name? him king? His father. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my father made me and king. his father before him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I hope he's just some young punk. I really hope so. <laughs> he's like a Joffrey. <laughs> yes! So, so, I, I, would, I would actually know that, wouldn't I? Yeah, you would. How how old is the king? Mid-30s. Like oh. Mid-30s? Uh, and... Mike was just like, he's like Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> where's where's his where's his uh and because we're gonna be setting off and when I left about probably about a year now. Yeah. Um what was the overall uh what what was the the pulse on the king's reputation? Pretty good. Um you know, he, he rules pretty fairly. He keeps the the roads in check. Um Okay, so good. is is he just is he just doing is he just doing a good job or is he like like the people love him? I mean, he's doing a good job, and I mean, you're always gonna have people who are like, yeah, I don't like any form of anyone who's like taxing me or something like that. But no, he's actually doing a pretty good job, and there are people who very much um like love him and swear their allegiance to him, and he calls those people lords. Yeah. Um, and like noble houses. But you know, for the <laughs> most part, like the about everyone has a, almost everyone has at least one good thing to say about him. Okay. <clears throat> and if if they don't have something good to say about him, they usually have something good to say about his wife. And then my last my <laughs> She's hot. She's hot. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. Twenty charisma will do that for you. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, it will. I would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll do it. I'm, I'm skating by with my thirteen. I'm. Uh, oh, it's twelve. My bad. You should see what the, you should see what the plus five does. I've got eighteen. Zed, you should totally bump up your charisma next time you get a chance. Why? No, don't do it. I like him low charisma. Because like a low charisma and awkward. And technically, you're supposed to have thirteen to multi-class and do it. You made wow. exceptions. Yes. So, uh, other than the queen being hot and presumably also benevolent. Yes. Uh, Very kind. And um, really know, good with rapiers, like ridiculously good. I know that I know that I've seen her around. I've seen her at least once or twice around the college at some point. Not actually met her, but I know that I've like seen her. Yes. On the on the her college. alignment. Her alignment is beautiful. Good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so... Beautiful, gorgeous. Remember that one? Yeah. Oh, so. Jimmy Neutron throwbacks here. <laughs> this is this is what the people demand. That's why we're not getting the views. We're not doing enough Jimmy Neutron throwbacks. I mean, I mean you want to keep me in this camp. You want to keep me in this campaign, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Do you know what it was like? Do you know what it was like being a smart kid? Named Jimmy. Oh, in high no. school. <laughs> did they go? Did they bully you and say, "Are you gonna have a brain blast?" Yes, I had oh, long hair. Oh, I had long oh. hair in high school too. So like. Oh no. I had the Einstein hair going on that age. I remember. Oh it was no. Sloppy. That is unfortunate. Uh, okay. Anyway. So <laughs> I had some hardcore hair in high school as well. Anyway, um, are there any notable factions that do not like the king? Um, 
I don't think so. There's no again. Um, well, minutes, yeah, the notable in. factions are like a th the thieves guild. Ten, ten minutes in, I've already ups I've already uh, stumped the GM. <laughs> I'm like thinking. I'm like that one. I have to reach yeah. for because again, uh, most people really like him. The thieves guild doesn't like him. Okay. Keep asking questions. Aranus is gonna end up mysteriously dead. And suddenly, Aranus is is stricken, sticking. Oh mute. no! Yes. Suddenly, Aranus has. Their character is replaced with a dwarf barbarian. No, <laughs> no, even better. Suddenly, Aranus has three arrows in his back, and it's labeled a suicide. <laughs> a suicide. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the thieves' guild isn't exactly um, super fond of him because you know. His soldiers tend to kill them. Yeah. Or at least apprehend them. Okay, and put them so on trial. let's. Okay. Those are my those are my immediate questions regarding the political scheme that we're about to enter. <laughs> oh dear, politics. Um. Yes, indeed, politics. Also, um, they really don't like him because he's pretty much incorruptible, as are the people that surround him. I mean, he's got, he's got, I mean, his, his wife is pretty, he's got that, that 20 charisma going on. I think he's at least somewhat corruptible. <laughs> Maybe in the Considering bedroom. Considering he's like a paladin of devotion, he's really hard to corrupt. Like, like I said, you will not find charisma. dirty, you will not find, like, guards willing to take bribes and look the other way in the, in Railden Castle. Yeah, I'm fairly used to that. I did not you. try and bribe guards. I want to put that right out there right now. <laughs> Neither do I. Jiggle doorknobs. Jiggle all of the doorknobs. So, so why did we jiggle the doorknob? <laughs> A shocking fear of success. Uh, uh, anyway. Slightly off topic, my beautiful cat is here, sitting in her co-pilot seat now. Yeah. So give me luck on my rolls. No. Ah, yes. Only if they this within Only five they minutes of coin. seeing it, and you too shall be da showered with good dice karma. No. So for my <laughs> freaking video, for my for my month off, I would like to go see the good lady Scarlet, who who should have set up shop by now. Yeah, she does arrive um, within like the first week of your guys's coming back home. Uh. I'm going to beg and plead at her feet that uh, she makes the changes that I talked to you about that she was trying to get to work. Yes, she does eventually. She actually did find a, a good way of figuring it all out, and she does make them. She's like, it'll take some, it'll take a little time for them to get used to changing, as it were, but eventually it'll become easier. So now I'm so instead of sporting the luxurious red robes, I now sporting the same robes, but they are now green. Nice for the iconic yeah. for the iconic Aranus classic color. Nice. And before Different she leave, before you leave, after seeing her, she you know obviously tells you to visit again. But she says, "You said at one point you were going to visit the king, right?" Did I did did I say that? The talks around town. You didn't tell your who did I tell? Yeah, who did we tell? <laughs> you told me. We All right, we have a gossip bird. <laughs> I don't think the bird. <laughs> you know, you know that that uh, you, you know that phrase is like a little bird told me. Yeah, she starts playing with her hair and go. A little bird told me. <laughs> she, but, but, to my knowledge, Aaron doesn't talk to anyone that isn't the five of us. <laughs> your knowledge Just is lacking. Just you haven't seen me talking to anyone doesn't mean I don't talk to them. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys told Aunt Cass, right? No. Not we to my not. knowledge. Unless Throck did, and we didn't know about it. Yeah. Did Throck do something? It's either Throck or Aaron at this point. <laughs> I, do you actually, know, I think you know this what? is Throck's fault, I think. Throck, Throck may have actually told Aunt Cass. Or for all you know, she just took a shot in the dark, and you fell for it like a And ton you're of so oh, lame. And she, like, dabs like a boss on you. <laughs> I mean, it's not untrue. 
Well, I've seen the way some of your friends dress. Nothing against them, but perhaps a visit to my shop would be in order. Uh, I wanted to go, actually. That is a tall order for three of them. <laughs> and a short order for one? That's not what I meant. Shut up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. God, you just completely derail everything. I'm yes, sorry. It's, it's go you're going to have a very difficult time convincing Throck to wear a shirt. I didn't say I, I would make him wear a shirt, did I? <laughs> I, I mean, that was sort of implied. It's your, your no, work no. In tailoring. She, we, she shows you um a. A large cloak that she's been working on. I was thinking something more like this. That is acceptable. I think hangs he'll over be... the, like it hangs over the like chest area. Have you considered using a bear pelt? Hmm. I like that idea. I think that's how you're going to win him over. This is why I like you. <laughs> I'm difficult to dislike. And not that Gideon. <laughs> Who's still sour about it. <laughs> if he, had, he, had, he visited just too late. No, he came earlier, but he didn't know what she looked like. He wasn't told the, the sheer beauty of her. I could have sworn that I told you. You did not describe her at all to me. Okay, I, well that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. It has a bard. I'm pretty sure it's my duty oh, yeah, to steal definitely. her from you anyway. I'm pretty sure you have, like, no charisma. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, I'll leave you to it. And I'll be here. I'll try. I'll try and visit. I have a lot of affairs to get in order before uh, I leave. I understand. Can uh, can Mavericks just kind of like appear out of the shadows? And just go up to Rams and be like, uh, oh, "What do you think of this one?" <laughs> <laughs> Ma Mavericks. Th that's for a gnome woman. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's, it's a little small, but I was, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that wouldn't even make a nice hat. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, do you have um, something uh, mossy looking? My Lady Scarlet, I, bid, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. And I am out. <laughs> and, and, as, and as Aranis heads out, Era... Uh, sort of bumps into him in the door. Oh, hello. Um, did you tell? Have you been telling people where we where we're about to go? I mean, I was asking around where I could find some stuff that's better to wear in royal courts. I want to buy clothes. I. <laughs> so the lady was I not supposed to tell people where we were going? I figured. I, well, we we just sort of. It's sort of important for for us to tell people where the protectors of their town are going. Well, we, we did just... Uh, er, er, you, you do remember that two days ago, we, disco we discovered that people knowing where we are is a bad thing. You know, because a corpse showed up on our doorstep? Oh, see, I thought that was just a an unfortunate feature of the mansion. No. 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 And... <laughs> I just, I just imagine those informations like, does this ever happen to you? Mutilated corpses showing <laughs> up on your no, doorstep, I, I just, blood I dripping just from around, the walls. Like, do people often come looking Get for your be gone. when you hanging Zed out be to gone, your yeah. like this, house out in the middle of Hi, Era, Era. What part of our re if if we had if we had seen a corpse and went, oh God, it's Thursday, isn't it? That would have been one thing. <laughs> but every single person, including you. Freaked the fuck out. 
<laughs> okay, but no, like, I thought that there was just... Like, I know that the Black Hand guy knows where our, our mansion is, but, like, what, do you think that there are people in the town, it's, like, in league with him? It's the fact that he knew that we were there at that time. Era. Oh. Era, we... Okay, okay. I told you so, about the, I told you to about the fair, teenagers. To be fair to me, to be fair to me, I never had anyone stalking me out for my life before. Neither have I. Okay, there was that one time with an ex-girlfriend, but we're, but that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> really missing out on the fun. That's oh, fair, well. that's fairly, that's fair, that's fairly distinct. This is Maverax with Zed Be Gone. Have <laughs> uh, you Zed ever had shattered, and... shattered corpses appear on your doorsteps with blood leaking from the walls? <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting pesky banshees wailing constantly at, at your windows, keeping you up all hours of the night? Oh my god, yes! Try, try spraying the outside of those windows with some Zed Be Gone. We, we need to play snake oil. That's it. <laughs> what is snake oil? It's literally, it's, no it's cart... It's a Cards Against Humanity where you, ha instead of like having the worst combo, you try and put together the best fake product. <laughs> oh my god, um, there's a, there's also a Cards Against Humanity clone called, um, What Do You Meme? And yeah, you get a picture, one. and then you have to, like, match, like, captions with it. With it. <laughs> <sighs> that sounds cancerous. We, it actually it is. seems... It, it is, it, but it's amazing. A little bit. Exactly, <laughs> kind of like... As we've just left off the rails again. Yes, yeah. we have. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Anyway, no, um, I'm not. This I, is fucking I was, great. I was gonna go in there and, out and ask for something to wear in the royal that's, court, because that's, that's, this cloak isn't really doing it for me. That, that's a good, that's a very good plan. Um, in the future, until things quiet down with this, Okay, I mean, people, I people, should, be, people should be surprised that we're leaving, and people should be sur surprised that we're arriving. Okay, I mean, I would have asked, I would have asked you, but you were so busy. That's fine, that's, I, I mean, it's not, but it's, but it's fine. Sorry. Sweet. There was an incident with teenage necromancers that oh. nearly got us oh. all killed. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, so literally, literally, their voices were still cracking. Oh, oh, the rusty cracking. And 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 you live here. Yep. This is the town we all love. So, um, meanwhile, oh, inside the shop, the, the Lady Scarlet is taking. Um, uh, Maverick's measurements. It, like a, like a mossy green would be amazing. If it just, you know, yeah, it throw it over the armor. Scars. She's like measuring out your arms. Um, she's like, I need you to take off your armor. Okay, uh, can, can you, can you, you see like this yes, little mess thing? Yes. and she, can like, we... it takes like five minutes and you get like all the pieces off. I really yeah. hope he's wearing an undershirt. I'm not. The chafing! The chafing! He's got like, scales. What's gonna chafe? Takes off like the leather. You realize how I'm much goes into the the, 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 sensi the sensitive Whoa. nipples on the gratuitous reptile person breasts. Obviously. <laughs> so, with my armor off. <laughs> my nipples. I said my nipples are very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my nipples! <laughs> just, just so you guys know, there there is no undergarment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so she's, she's, um, she, like, doesn't really care. I'm politely covering my, uh... You realize that you don't actually have, like, basically think of it like, like, almost like a switchblade, like, it only comes out when you're aroused. Okay. And... There's a reason that I know this because my first fourth edition character. I don't character, want to know why you know this. <laughs> my first, my I first don't fourth, want to know why you know this. My first fourth edition no. character was a dragonborn paladin, and one of my friends was explaining to me all these random no, facts about D and D characters. I don't want to know why you know this. And he's like, gonna, "Yeah, uh, dragonborns have two hearts." I'm um I'm gonna I'm gonna say to uh, I'm gonna say uh, Aranis's Aranis's lady friend. I I apologize. It's cold. That's fine. 
And she's just she's like measuring every like measures your inseam and like uh, waist and bust and all that fun stuff. And she kind of waves her hand and like a small like a cloth kind of wraps itself around your waist. Let's see. And she starts um, pulling out like kind of cloth swatches essentially, and holds them up to your scales. Looks at you. Looks at the scales. Looks at oh, looks at the scales. Looks at the swatch. Hmm. Maybe some of this. Okay. So she kind of like waves her hand a little bit, and you see um, some like illusory clothes appear on you, and it's a deep, um, like deep green, mm-hmm. with uh, like a great oak. Like it's like um, like undergarments and all that stuff. Undershirt. Um, with a big, uh, like a, essentially like a dragon kind of curled around on the front. And then on the cape in the back is a large, um, oak tree with a dragon kind of arching over the top of it. And it's breathing out a silvery flame that goes below the the tree. So basically it's like this dragon and its breath weapon wrapping around this big oak tree. I love it. Excellent. And I she give waves her a her. big big hug. And she, and it's not I haven't smile. made it quite yet. I'm sorry, I'll get it to you as soon as possible. Oh, it's okay. Uh no, I didn't catch your name. I've been calling you Aranis' lady for this whole time. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. My name is uh Scarlet. Scarlet. Is that a first name or a last name? Yes. Or a name? It is my name. Okay. I'm the Lady Scarlet. Okay. And she uh, calls off and a young woman enters and kind of bows to her. Yes, my lady? I need... And she rattles off a bunch of different names of threads and cloth colors and things like that. And she, uh, and another girl comes in and helps you get dressed again. All right. Uh, Era and is she, sort of, oh, sorry. And she, like, you know, curtsies as you leave. I give a deep bow. So er, er, your clothes oh. will be better, be ready yeah. in about a week. Uh, do, do I, do I owe her anything? Um, you'll pay when you when you receive the garments, and they are okay. to your liking. Okay. Uh, okay. Era's sort of just been chilling by the uh, uh, lady robes and stuff, uh, all of which are obviously either too long or the wrong shape entirely. Yeah. Uh, and she's just... Uh, Hello. Uh, I imagine I'm going to be a rather custom job. Uh, if you could give me some help, please. Of course. And she beckons you over and takes out, once again, um, a long string with numbers on it. And she begins taking your measurements. She's very gentle and she's very, just she kind of like, not so much hums, but seems to be kind of, yeah, humming. Humming would be... Yeah, like, um, I, I'm sort of looking for, you know, the, the royal sorts of, like, when you go into court she, and you gotta... She measures around your wings to know the whole, uh, the size for the holes. Yeah, and the, the shoulders are gonna be complicated. Hmm. Hmm. So what were you looking for? Uh... Clothes. Yeah, so, I mean, I've sort of just been wearing these robes and this tan cloak that I picked up so that people wouldn't just stare at me when we went into town. Um, But neither of these things is really suitable for, like, a royal sort of situation. Well, you can have... They're all dirty and, like... Well, not dirty, but, like, they're, they're tattered and stuff. You can have dress robes. Yeah, yeah, all right. Very well, then. And she again waves her hand, and this 
like illusory clothing begins to form on you. Oh, that's and neat. it is it is a very tightly wrapped robe that goes extends for your full body and encompasses your your wings and actually uh, part of it even kind of goes up and wraps around the wings at the very base and they are um, they are kind of a deep blue color Ooh. with green accents and a lot of earthy tones This looks really sharp. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I don't think I've looked this well-dressed in my entire life. <laughs> I'll take it. Very well. I will have the garments ready in two weeks' time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming here. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, let Arenas know that I'm not going to be spilling the beans to anyone else. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, 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 Era bows and leaves the shop. And she curtsies in response. Oh, too much social interaction for today. <laughs> so what's Zed doing? Um, hmm. I want to check in on the Fight Club. The Fight Club's actually going pretty well. Um... Jack has actually managed to convince the, the the town guard to join in as kind of training. Jackie um, boy, you've met and exceeded my expectations. Glad I've been able to do that. <laughs> but it's running pretty well. Good, I mean, good. There haven't really been any complaints or anything like that. They've got medics on standby, and you know people are doing pretty well for for it. Oh, good! It's all um, very professional. Well done, well done. I try. You done good. <laughs> <laughs> so is it like an every night sort of thing, or? Um, like usually right now it's mostly reserved for like weekends and stuff. Okay. Good. So, the, so there's some time to build up the anger that you need for it. Good. Yeah. But they'll they'll do it in like a variety of like sometimes they'll do one on one bouts they'll do like group bouts hmm. all sorts of things and again the city guard has kind of gotten in on it um, mostly for like training purposes makes sense well that's all well and good. Rock needs to be here. I need someone else to play off on this because this was our little pet project. Yes, I know yes, there was, was. I know we sort of wanted to introduce like a, like a, uh, not so much like uh, slay thing, but like there was definitely going to be betting involved. Like if on cer for certain fights, is any of that going on or like? They're working on that. It's. They yeah. they they predict that within the next couple months. Betting should be um, <laughs> something that will be happening, but the the one thing that they're really lacking right now is capital. Oh, okay. Like they can they can hold. They're basically they're not making anything. They're just kind of staying afloat. Okay. Well, how much would you need? Do you need like how much gold are we talking here that you would need to like get this moving forward a little bit faster? <sighs> I'd say maybe. 200. Well, here, I'm going to be generous, and here's 50 platinum. Okay. Uh, he takes it and kind of just kind of looks at it and goes... I assume you know oh. that those are each one of those is worth 10 gold. I... I I've don't been busy. Think I've never held this much money in my life. <laughs> I've been busy. <laughs> so you have. Well... Thanks, boss. I'll make sure that this we do we do right by you. Oh no, nah. I'm I, you. You've done very well. That's I can only keep commending you of of the job that you've done here. And I'm sure if Throck were here, I actually don't know where he is. He would also be commending you on a job well done. 
Oh please, I'm. Oh please, you want to know how much money I have? I, I spent all my. I spent all my money on Era, so. I still have a hundred yeah, platinum. I spent all of my money on a sun sword. Sun gold. Hundred platinum, two hundred and seventy-five <laughs> gold, two hundred fifty silver, and two hundred seventy-seven copper. I'm allowed to drop fifty platinum like it's no big deal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay, uh, other than that, I w is, uh, the Frenchman here? Um, yes, he is. Hey, buddy! <laughs> it has been quite some time since I have found you upon my doorstep. Indeed, it's been quite a while. Hey, have you seen this new thing that, they've, that they have for these gauntlets? And I take off my hand blade. Look at this, they, they put a crossbow inside of it. That is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> and they also. How the hell did they do that? It must I, be a norm. Yes, it's my muse, uh, Lady Wizgill. <coughs> Wizgill! Yeah! <laughs> what? Is that bad? <laughs> she is my ash nemesis. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> did not foresee that coming. Oh, well. snap. <laughs> oh my god. Am I gonna have to I kill one of you? I would say our nemesis so much as former lover. <laughs> she is a feisty mistress. <laughs> that she is. I'm glad we have the same taste in women. We oui, monsieur. Indeed, we do. Very good. So, was it. Uh, any advice? Dude, he's dragging She is a fickle woman. Hard. Fickle, okay. He's gonna but she must be treated as well, or else she will <laughs> reject you. Oh, I, I fully intend on putting a ring on that. I have nothing else to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about uh, this stereo system. Stereo system? <laughs> Tell me more about stereo systems. I, I don't know what a stereo system is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad. Um, it's, it was... G Professor, do you want to fill him in? Later. I'll fill him later. in later. Okay. okay. Well, I did find this, and I take out the Sun Scepter, because we're in the confines of his house. So, Sacre bleu! Yeah. <laughs> he, like, drops his, he drops his cigarette. He just pulls out, he just pulls out another one. <laughs> Guess who's it? <laughs> is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's the Sun Scepter of Pelor, and it's mine. Or I'm it's one of the two. It's a it's a So you have gone to the light zen. Slightly. I'm more good than I was. I still can get up to my antics, but I have to temper them. You can't you can't get up to your antics. I can temp yes I can, I just have to be tempered. <laughs> Very well then. From now on, the killing contracts I give you. They shall be for good. As I always were. assumed that they were. <laughs> not just for money, though. Not to, not just for money. Ah, oh, for the, uh, the for for example, killing good. a slave master. Oh, I've done that plenty of times already. <laughs> I'm something of a slave master exterminatus. Or, uh, how you say, Ooh, feasting in the cereal of a tyrant. Come again? Oh, you know. Okay. <laughs> Poison. Tyrant. Ah, got it. Kill the tyrants. <laughs> got it. I love the, 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 the cigarette drags for effect. <laughs> He's the Frenchman. Snobby Frenchman, Only of course. I had an accordion to play. The and of course you background. remember my kitty, Monsieur Fluffy. 
Fox. His cat something, something, walks in. He's got like a is. French beret on. Meow. Ah, yes, Fluffy. Meow. <laughs> oh, I should probably mention this because this will probably make you also freak out a little bit, but Wizgill's coming here. <laughs> yeah. Qua? At my. Well, I, I wouldn't actually say at my request or behest that she came here. She just asked me where I was going after Embrus, and I said Rivers Keep. And she said, okay, I'll meet you there. Sort of thing. So now I'm just waiting for her. <laughs> he leans over and just... <laughs> smoke right in your face. That's about the reaction I expected. She is a fickle level. No. Yes? No. There is... She is a fickle woman, but a passionate lover That's... for such a tiny, tiny person. I I assume so. She has that fire about her. Oh yes, she does. You will soon learn of her true fire. Uh, is she a fucking dragon in the sky? Because I've already dealt with enough shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dragon. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, good times. Out, out of character real quick. I fucking love doing this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, he's Any great. anytime I get a chance to anytime I get a chance to be a horrible French stereotype. I keep I keep needing to refresh because I keep losing people. Aww. Yeah, right now it looks like Aranis is just a black square from Oh, there he goes. Hey. Yeah, I keep losing Jim. I'm gonna refresh real quick. Oh. Okay. Now the yeah, DM's gonna refresh. Just... If it's not one thing, it's another. <sighs> also, Reddit put up the two best Minecraft jokes I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, it's the, this joke followed by the second comment. I think it might be the highest rated comment, but... Oh my it's, gosh, our jokes the, actually do something funny. I know, that was like... <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! The two of them, both jokes. Oh gosh. Jokes! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not calling her a slide, I'm just saying her spawn point isn't set to her own bed very often. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever. Oh man, I haven't played Minecraft in so long. I, I'm sort of playing it whenever uh, my programming is going really, really badly, and I need to feel like I've actually made something. <laughs> I made a house today. I, I did something good. No, that's not for you to touch. Go away. <clears throat> Into my hand. Come on. Come on. Enjoy your death. Sorry, I had to kill Spider. Okay. No. Rock will be with us shortly. Oh, um, Zed, I found yet. this picture, uh, and what? I found this picture, and instantly thought that this would be a great picture of Zed. Uh, I will let you know. <laughs> hmm. Like the hand crossbow and everything. Hand crossbow. Yeah, that's a pretty good picture. Yeah, that's yeah, basically what I drew. 
he doesn't he doesn't look fucking stunned that he that he has to be a good character though. And like that's what's miss that's what's missing for right now. Well, as soon as Zed empathizes with something, then he'll realize that oh wait, something's not right. <laughs> I'm supposed to be cold and emotionless. This isn't right. The picture I have of Mavericks now is probably the picture I'll use for every Dragonborn I ever use. Yeah, that's a really great. The generic side, head side, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What I had for Kriv was really good. Alright, so what, what were we set see here? We just wrapped up the Frenchman. I guess, is it my turn to visit Scarlet, I suppose? Yes. Ooh. Oh boy, do I even want new clothes? Now, let's see what she gives me. It, it would be rude to deny Mike this opportunity. <laughs> so you um, you too. enter, I imagine, the 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 la Lady Scarlet's boutique. Mm -hmm. And as you enter, um, you see her sitting there at a at her at a chair, just very gently sewing and humming. And there are several um, girls surrounding her going this way and that way, grabbing bolts of cloth, uh, threads, and, you know, um, writing down various things, putting on, sewing on lace and, and such. And as you enter, she, she's very gently humming, and she glances up at you and says, Hello. Welcome. Hello. What can I do for you today? Um, I need fancy clothes because I'm going to go see the king at some point. Oh, he can say it! Ah, so you must be one of the other sentinels then. Yeah. I'm going to kill it myself. You can try. On purpose. <laughs> she, she very gracefully rises and sets the cloth aside and she curtsies and says, I am the Lady Scarlet. Or, as your friend Mavrax knows me, <laughs> Aranis' lady friend. Oh, good. Aranis has a lady friend, too. Oh, lovely. And you're also... have a name of Lady Blank. Hmm. <laughs> this must be a recurring trend in Embrace. The, the, the face pop count is up to two or three, I believe, now. They're all dead, Jim. <laughs> They're all dead, Jim. I killed them all for telling everyone where we were going. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shiver my timbers, shiver my sails. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> I fucking love Muppet Treasure Island. Oh, man. Anyway, so she kind of gives you a look over and says... I think I have a good idea. Hold on. Yes. Cheers. Yes. Cheers as I hold up my dust cleaner. No. No. Cheers. <laughs> Wait, I have some bottled tea. I'm gonna spray it directly it's not alcohol, your but it's me? something. What's that? Do you want to spray it directly into your microphone anyway. with me? I'd rather not. I'd rather just inhale it if we're just gonna, if we're just gonna waste it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so she stands up and you know she st she starts taking your measurements quickly and she says, "I think I have an idea." And she waves her hand and all of a sudden you're draped in a very nice I fucking lost uh, him again. white cloak with a beautiful large golden sun emblazoned on the back of it. Hmm. I got it. And then underneath it there is a um a, a, a white not so much a jacket like um white like shirt with mm -hmm. uh a a man holding up a scepter towards the sun. Ooh. And then she fun. says, but I sense something else within you. And she 
kind of just does this, and all of a sudden the the robes shift and change. The man seems to uh, move his arm down. In his hand, instead of a scepter, is a rapier. On the back, instead of a large golden sun, is a large silver crescent moon. I like both motifs. Can we create some sort of hybrid of the two? I think I can work something out. Sort of like a light within the dark sort of thing. How about this? Mm. You choose. The garments will match with whatever you choose. Whether it be light or dark. Whatever is, need, whatever is needed at the moment. Oh, so just to be constantly shifted? That sounds like fun. If nothing else, I could just annoy people with it just by constantly having it change. It's perfect. It's perfect. I like that. <laughs> Very well, then. It will be done in about ten days. Is there any... How much will it run me? Do you have any idea yet, or...? Hmm. She, she talks to one of the girls quickly, and the girl runs off and comes back with a notepad, and the Lady Scarlet kind of sits there and plays with the numbers a little bit. About 150 gold. Hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to prematurely subtract that so I don't forget to do it later. Okay. And of course, as you leave, she once again curtsies and begins talking to the girls again about what they need to be, about um, what they're going to be doing. She goes right back to her, to her project, a very thick, mossy, green um, cloak. <laughs> And now I begin my meditation where I just wait at our mansion for my <laughs> lady friend to show up. You just kind of sit there. You're 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 looking at the sun mace mm -hmm. or the sun scepter. It feels different. Like what lighter? Or? Like, it's not taking so much mental energy to keep focused on it. Yay, I'm gaining more control over it, I think. To some degree or another, it doesn't take too... Now it only takes one slot to attune to it. Spicy, that frees up a slot. Takes up one slot. Hey, there he is. There's Throck. Hey! I've got you, Jimmy. I've got everybody. <laughs> I, I don't have... Aranis. Oh, there, Aranis is oh, back. Aranis is gone, Cheers, and buddy. now he's back. There we go. Uh, Kyle! Maybe small images will make it easier. Less to stream. Oh, you didn't have it on small images to begin with? I, I thought I was on small. It turns out I was on medium. Ah, yeah. Is. Okay. Are you just doing not video? Um, my yes. webcam is broken, sorry. Okay. Just making sure nothing, something wasn't wrong in my end. No, it's just... It's just a broken webcam. So, um, let's catch him up real quick. Uh, Lady Scarlet is in town. The fighting ring is going well. Hey. Um, Eric can't keep her mouth shut. And neither can Zed. Neither can Zed. What can what did you do? And neither can Zed. What did you do? I don't like the sounds of that. They may have let it slip that you guys are going to see the king to the Lady Scarlet. Mm. Era may have been. And now unaware. she's like basically demanding that everyone from the Sentinels of Clowland make her way to their shop make their way to her shop. Era may Because you cannot go see the king in like terrible 
Yeah. If she tries to make a shirt for me, I will not wear it. My fiance's <laughs> going here. He's like, yes, you can. If she tries to make a shirt for me, I will not wear it. I will accept fancy pants, but not a fancy shirt. I'm a barbarian, damn it. I have standards. She, she didn't say that you... <laughs> Actually, she did explicitly say... Actually, we did foresee this, because the first thing out of Varanis' mouth was, you're going to have a tall order with trying to get Throck to wear a shirt. <laughs> and she said, I'm not making him a shirt. Good. <sighs> yeah, Era may have been unaware that this was actually supposed to be kept a secret. She was under the impression that people generally prefer to know where their city protectors are going. We're not the city protectors, we're the world protectors. It's in the title. Also, at well, one point, um, when Throck and then I just lost my because he disappeared on me. I just lost my uh, Oh, he's back. Oh. Uh, keeps coming, becoming a black square. Yeah, I get a black square for, like, that everybody else is blind. I have, I have uh, everything. Reconnected. Yeah, I. Um, unless I don't, Jimmy's have, I don't have Jim. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, have Varanus either. He's just practicing being a weeping angel. Okay, I reconnected and now I have everybody. <laughs> oh, my turn. Then. <laughs> Happen. Hey, let's go. Okay. Alrighty. So, Throck, do you also make your way eventually to the the Lady Scarlet? <laughs> Begrudgingly. Begrudgingly. <laughs> so, so I I like to imagine that like Aranis is just kind of like leaving, like trails of just random sweets. <laughs> he's like, ooh, a cupcake. <laughs> ooh, a slice of cake. He's like, ooh, a croissant. Ooh, piece of cake. You know, basically, just like this, leaves this like just trail of baked goods. Yeah, happy donut day. Yeah, happy donut day, everyone. <laughs> and then like you're like standing outside of the like the shop, and you're like, wait a minute, and then just, a random just shoves you in there and slams <laughs> the door shut. Or I'm gonna say, hey, do you want a bearskin cloak? And I would say there. no. I'm fine with my dragon cloak. <laughs> Gorge, I did it. You owe me one. <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> so you go in there, and she's um, you. Yes. She kind of gently takes the uh, dragon cloak. Some of my finer work. But, from what I've heard, you're going to be in need of something a little bit more regal, as it were. Sure. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. And very quickly, she is able to kind of just make an illusory um, something for you. It's bare skin pauldrons with long with a long cloak that is in the shape of like eagle feathers. Do I have to wear this all the time? Or can I take it off? You can take it off eventually. But but can I take it off now because I don't want to travel in this? She waves her hand and it just disappears. It was well, if you can make it just disappear, how's it supposed to show up when we go to the king? If you're so worried about my image. Dear. That oh. was an illusion. Redis, is she coming with us? <laughs> Redis! Uh. That. I am outside. Uh, I found an alleyway and just sort of like breaking my head open from. <laughs> Tear, that was an illusion. I haven't actually made it for you yet. That's seven intelligence. Hey.
but is it to your liking? It's a 12 intelligence, I'll have you know. Ooh. <laughs> I have a 9. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I think mine's like 10. Mine's 10. Um, um. Uh, I, my response, um, I was never one for the finer things. As far as clothing goes, it reminds me too much of former masters, those unfortunately still living, and luckily those deceased. Fair enough. Mm. Perhaps something more like this, and again, she waves her hand, and this time it's just kind of like bandoliers across your chest. Um, decorated with various feathers and talons and claws of of bears and like bear it's like basically like bear skin bandoliers with eagle feathers that come down off of them uh. Maybe just some, like, I'm perfect, nah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't like any of this. <laughs> <laughs> then perhaps this, and she waves her hand again, and basically she adds, like, a bearskin kilt to your pants. Mm. With eagle feathers, like, as, um, as the frill. a rim. <laughs> On the top. On the top? Yeah. Ah. Better? Just the kill. I can work with that. <laughs> As he does one of those things where he, like, swivels a little bit just to watch the illusory kill move. <laughs> Aww. And it moves very nicely. Like fucking Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I walk as a princess, damn it. I walk with you once upon My favorite a Disney princess is Batman. I know you. <laughs> the three in your eyes. So, so familiar. Dream. Dream. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Jim. I knew there was a reason I was friends with you. I mean, there's more than one. I <laughs> so, you've settled on the bearskin kilt? The bearskin eagle feather kilt? Yes. Yeah, just that. No belts, suspenders, whatever those were. <laughs> Very well, then. And then I take back my, uh, I, I just pick up my cloak and throw it back on, uh, over my shoulders. When's that gonna be ready? Four days. Uh, I'll get to hang out with Mika and Grace. If any, if nothing else in this town. And she curtsies as you leave. Thank you for coming to my boutique. Not well, like I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Hang on. Miranda, so you're gonna need to make a stealth check. Why? I'm in a whole... I'm in an alley right now. <laughs> Stark's looking for you. <laughs> I do not want to be found by Throck. I need, to, I need to make a stealth check. You need to make a stealth check. Uh, cast invisibility on yourself. Uh, I could do that. Um, actually, instead, could I use minor illusion to make a uh, to make the alleyway look not as deep as it is? Yeah. There you go. Fuck your perception. For fuck your investigation. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there was a thing that I wanted Era to find Aranus for, so I guess uh, in order to see past an illusion, is that still a perception check? Yes. Okay. You find him with your passive perception. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Alright, like... we'll just say, we'll just say I find him. Um... Yeah. Because your passive perception is so high, you're just like, yeah. why is he standing in an alleyway, and why is Throck just kind of looking at him? Yeah. <laughs> but they can't see me. 
She can. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be like, why? Why is Zorana standing behind that obvious solution of, <laughs> of the end of an alleyway? Uh, but no. Era's uh, uh, just gonna wait until Throck. Like, like, Era. Era's hey, not cool. the brightest. Era's not the brightest <laughs> bulb, but she she has a high wisdom score, and I think that that, that gives her insight into what is happening here. <laughs> so she's not. She's just gonna hold off. <laughs> Just kind of perched on top of the roof. Just <laughs> I'll find him eventually. What time of day is it? Um, it's about forever. mid afternoon. All right, I'll stop by the bard school to see if maybe Grace is still there. If not, I'll head back to the mansion. Uh, Grace is Grace is not currently at the bard school. Okay, then I'll just head back to the house. All right. Uh, Era's, Era's gonna... There's a character go. in my game called Grace. She's a, she's a rogue. She's like, who's Grace? <laughs> she's a tiefling. Are you talking about another girl no, I'm not there? Not. Her hair is black. <laughs> is Her she skin pretty? Is black. What's she look <laughs> like? <laughs> are you, are you, are you, are you making day. a pretty women to populate your game with Ellie there? <laughs> no, the funny thing is we actually have a friend named Grace who looks like uh, a Meredith the Brave. <laughs> yeah, no, your your fiance seems super nice. Like I'm sure she's not like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, uh after after Throck has walked past the illusion of the alleyway, um, Era's gonna sidle up and just sort of like like poke at the illusion a little bit, and then just like stab through it and be like, "Hello, uh, do you not want? I, I mean, obviously you don't want to be found, but it's not by me, is it?" Hi. Um. I mean, it, it's mostly just that I wanted to give you something, uh, and she just sort of awkwardly thrusts a, a bottle of wine into his hands. It's it's it's, it's the last it's it's the last one. I mean, not not the last one in the wine cellar. Uh, it's the last one that I'll be drinking. Very good. Um. Yeah. I'm just. I just wanted to say thanks. Yeah. Hey. Any time. And so I'm kind of scared shitless. Oh, really? Why? We're going, for back of a letter, for back of a better word, one of my homes, in a few weeks. Oh. The College of Olam is where I learned to be a bard, and it's located in the capital. So this will be like going back to the place where you learned how to be a bard and they'll all be judging you on how good your bard skills are and yes thank you for putting it so clearly <laughs> uh, your I... ability to determine my emotional state is stunning <laughs> and now you're being sarcastic I mean that you cut a little close to the bone era uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It's. I've got a minus two to strength. There's not a lot of muscle there. I mean, like, I'm. Sh why? Why? Oh. I, I, look, Arenas. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. You've done a lot of a lot of stuff that's really cool, and you're making your own bad college. Like, I, I'm sure that that's gonna count for something. Well, here's the problem. So, did I ever tell you about the time I slayed a seven-headed venomous frog all by myself? Holy shit, no. It was the size of a small house. You did that by yourself? No, it never happened. Oh. Oh, you're worried that everyone's gonna think that you're just good at acting like you're a good bad. There, you have it. 
So what's the point of telling people your accomplishments if everyone in a bad school is most accomplished at lying about things? More or less. Yes. So, but. I mean... Zone of but. truth. <laughs> but, and here's the best part, I'm still a bard, and I still have to, at the fundamental essence of my being, I have to tell the stories. Yeah? So, you feel compelled to tell people what you've done, even though they're not going to believe you? Yes, and that paradox is murdering me. Oh. <sighs> well, first off, uh, she gestures to the the bottle of wine. You're going to need that a hell of a lot more than I will. Um, second off, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good at telling when people are lying. So if you want me to come with you and like call out other people's bullshit, I can totally do that. I mean, if that would be. If that would I be really fun. would not mind taking some stuffy instrumentalists down a couple pegs. I mean, as appreciators of that, that would be. That would be rude and bolsterous. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's kind of how I roll. Era, don't give them an inch. I won't. It's about time those stuffy old crones got off the, got off their asses and did some actual storytelling. <laughs> I will be the meanest critic, and they can all just call me the mean bed woman, and it'll oh. be completely true. Oh, don't go, don't go for mean. Go, f go for uh, oblivious, obliviously honest. Oh, I can also do that. Because me and, because me and Spirited, we get harsh criticism all the time. Obliviously but honest. Someone, but someone who has no malice in their heart and is still throwing around <laughs> the same criticisms? Oh, Fuck, dear, they might be being honest. What on earth do you mean you killed a frog the size of a house? I didn't even know frogs could grow that big. How do they even eat things? with 15-foot-long tongues and venom. Oh, but certainly ain't nothing could possibly be big enough to fill their enormous stomachs. There you go. That's closer. I have a out of I'll work on it. <laughs> Just okay, say that's where, a lot. Where, where are we right now? In the trade district somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you guys are, like... In the markets. All right. You, yeah. mull, you mull on that. that. I'm really not sure. I, I feel like I may have accidentally drunk all the good vintages first. But I, I'd like to look at the vintage of this wine. It's actually yeah. a pretty good vintage. Oh! Oh, that one must have been preserved somehow. I wonder how. Anyway, you enjoy it. Bye! Thanks. Like, <laughs> Enjoy your own wine that you she's, own. She, she's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know, right? <laughs> it is not the best at gift giving. A red knows that that's the, the thought that counts. Yeah. Reminds me of a tiefling bard that once stole someone's rope and then gave it to them as a present. Or someone who like, made a uh, a wool uh, a werewolf I carving. A werewolf statue to get a bottle of wine. Yes, uh, gave a werewolf statue to a a <laughs> person who recently became a werewolf. <laughs> In order. Congratulations to, on uh, your curse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of my proudest moments. <laughs> Congratulations. In order to steal it's a, a bottle of wine. That was your best chaotic moment, I'll give you that. <laughs>